guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm finally going to review the long-awaited Disney's ColourPop Villain Collection. Guess what I got in the mail today? What? It finally arrived after much trouble. It's finally here. So if you guys want to see what this is about, everything that occurred and whatever, you know, whatever goes into this, then uh, definitely keep on watching. Oh my God, so um, I wanna go ahead and apologize. You know what, I'm not gonna apologize. This is my channel, you guys know who I am. But my hair is a mess because I've been up since 7 a.m. It is currently four o'clock right now because my little munchkin butt likes to get up super early and gets up every two hours so she can go pee and potty, which is great, you know, she does what she has to do. But I'm, uh, I'm tired, I'm tired. And I finally got her settled down so I could film, but I'm sure she'll wake up at some point and yip and yap and um, feels like I've had a child and I was not ready for motherhood yet. So um, this is definitely <laughs> like an eye opener for me, but I do love her. She is, she is a sweetheart, so I'll give her that. So moving on, um, I finally received the ColourPop Disney Villain Collection. Well, the one that I had ordered. So I only ordered four pieces in the collection. I had ordered the Disney Villain Misunderstood Eyeshadow Palette. I ordered the Dr. Facilier Cream Lipstick along with the Bad Apple Lip Gloss, which by the way, this is how the package looked when I opened the box, like completely open. Thanks ColourPop. And then I also ordered the, the Villains Jelly Munch Shadow and the color Pretty Wrecked, which I really do like Jelly Munch Shadows. So we're doing a video on that, so stay tuned. Um, that one's for you, Tony, so definitely stay tuned for that. But yes, I'm finally able to get my hands on this, and I still actually have the other stuff in here as well. Like I still have, this is what I received in my first one. So now I have a duplicate of the uh, Dr. Facilier um, Cream Lipstick. I have a duplicate of it now, so just know that my duplicate, I'm gonna be putting that in my giveaway box. I'll be doing another giveaway pretty soon, so stay tuned for that, but this is gonna go in there. And then I guess I can kind of like look around at everything that I have in this collection. Um, in total, I did spend about 40 bucks, which isn't that bad because I think for the whole thing, it's like 260 bucks, but I spent 40 bucks and I got a couple things. Um, I know a lot of people out there, they got the uh, packets, it's like $25, but you get the blush, the, lip, the lipstick, the lip gloss, and like the highlighter or whatever that package came with. I didn't wanna do that because I didn't like every single thing that came in each person's collection, so I wanted to individually pick out my stuff. But I had to do it through ColourPop, and right now ColourPop is amazing with their shipping and customer service. They're amazing. Um, so yeah, I ordered this the day it came out, March 21st, and it is now April 10th. So, so I waited a little bit for this collection to come out, and I'm, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm not even excited for this anymore. I'm filming it because I said I would, and I'm excited to like play with the eyeshadow palettes, so I really wanted that. But overall, like my hype for it has definitely disappeared. It just, it has. ColourPop kind of ruined it for me. And if anyone out there is having issues with ColourPop, like let me tell you right now, I get you. I get you. Um, I'm still gonna shop with the brand, but I'm probably gonna do it through Ulta because Ulta's customer service is amazing. I love Ulta. That's why I love working for the company. I love everything about it. So I'm probably gonna buy through Ulta for the time being, and I'm gonna take a little bit of a break from ColourPop just because I need it. I need it. I'm gonna go ahead and let's just dive on into this. I know I've rambled a lot about ColourPop lately, um, but before I do, quick, quick, quick story. Um, last night, I actually received an email from ColourPop and it was like one of those automatic emails that they send you whenever you purchase anything from their collection. And it asked me to rate the Bad Apple lip gloss. It's like, please give us what your thoughts and opinions are on this lip gloss. And I laughed. I flat out laughed because I was like, I haven't even received this yet and you want me to review it. So I reviewed it. But I was super positive about it. I was like, this is just so amazing that you guys want me to give you guys my opinion on a product I haven't even received. Like how awesome is this? You guys, this formula is non-existent. It gives you in, you know, invisible color. It's probably really smooth, but I mean, I wouldn't know. I've never received it. I was kind of a jackass in it, not gonna lie, because I have a little bit of a bitter spot towards it. So um, yeah, there's that little fun story there. So um, 
Yeah. Oh well, let's go ahead and uh, dive into this guys. I'm pretty sure by now you guys have seen a lot of swatches on the eyeshadow palette and I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of videos on it so I'm not going to go in like too depth on what the prices are and what the formula is like and what the swatches are like because I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen it. This has been out for almost a month now. So, so I will definitely say the packaging is really cute. I do like their packaging. I've always loved ColourPop and their packaging. Like, and their formulas are so good. Like, I gotta tell you right now that I'm gonna love the formula. I've never been disappointed by ColourPop eyeshadow palette. I gotta tell you right now, I'm not gonna be like. <laughs> first off, hello. Look at this. This is super cool. I really love how this looks. Is this Cricut? I don't know if this is meant to be Cricut, but it is. Um, and it's really small and thimble. I do like that. And then this is the shadows themselves. Gorgeous shadows. I really want to play around with this green right here. Absolutely gorgeous. And as you guys know, I mean, ColourPop and their shadows are superb. It's why I do like shopping with them because they do have really great shadows. So this is that eyeshadow palette right here. Now, seeing as how I got to keep the rest of the collection, um, then we have the Disney's Ultra Lip Gloss in the color Bad Apple. Um... I wish it's I wish it smelt like apple but it does not um, definitely do some swatches for you guys on these ones um, so I do have two other ones I have the I have the Cruella and puppies and hot-headed and metallic and Disney villains so out of the three lipsticks that I do have right here um, at the very top one we do have bad apple followed by Puppies, which is the Corella version, followed by Hot Headed, and that is the Hades version. Um, it's a little disappointing because when it comes to Bad Apple, like I can definitely see that for the um, Evil, like the, is it the Evil Queen? Yeah, the Evil Queen, yeah, yeah, I'm right, I'm right. Um, evil Queen. Um, for Puppies, like I really wanted that to be like a deep red because it's Corella, and that's what she's known for, having that red lip. And then for the Hades to have like this, like really like kind of like nudie metallic color 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 right here like i want it to be like a blue color like a like a blue shift because like that's what hades has like blue hair i mean i would know i freaking saw him in person at the disney villain event and i was really hoping to see that but you know whatever um the dr facilier i don't think i ever swatched this color hopefully i like it oh my god look at this packaging freaking love it nice and heavy Ooh. That's nice. Then we have the Jelly Munch Shadows. Now, if you guys have seen my last video, which I'll link right up here with the ColourPop Disney, Disney, <laughs> my ColourPop Spring Collection, I did get th two uh, Jelly Munch Shadows in there, and I'm actually gonna be doing a review standalone just for that, like showing how you do like cool different eye looks for it. Um, I really like the Jelly Munch Shadows. They're so freaking cool, and they're just fun to play with, and they're so like squishy. I like so squishy! Well, whoever ordered this, um, she likes Hades because she's getting a lot of stuff from the Hades collection. All right guys, so right here we have the um, Villains I Own You and that is from the Hades collection. That is what that girl ordered. I ordered this little shiny guy right here. I don't really know how to bend my hand properly. I ordered that one, it's called Pretty Wretched and it is from, um, you know, I don't know who that one's from. Oh, and I could tell you right now, you could definitely wear these as standalone. Like, look how they just shine. They are so freaking gorgeous. I'm so glad I got it. Like, I'm definitely gonna be playing around with these shadows today. So, let's go ahead and dive on into the eyeshadow palette. All right, so the misunderstood palette right here. Um, I already have laid down, I have laid down. I've already laid down concealer, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start doing an eye look for you guys. I'm not entirely sure what I wanna do. I do know that I wanna mess around with like Diablo just because um, that's a beautiful freaking green. And what's this color right here, mongrels? Ooh. Ooh, that's like the Jelly Munch shadow that I have. I love that color. First color I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into this little color, uh, Devious, Devious right here, and I'm gonna set that down as like uh, my transition shade. I have no idea what type of eye look I'm going for today. I. Um, I'll try to be creative. I mean, ever since I did that Jeffree Star um, Blue Blood Eye Look, oh my God, I'll link that video right up here. I was obsessed with that. And surprisingly enough, like a lot of, people, a lot of my coworkers, because it's still kind of weird for me. Like it's really weird for me whenever my coworkers like, oh, I saw your video, or I love that eye look that you did, like your YouTube channel, this and that. It's still weird for me my, when my coworkers bring it up to me. I'm like, oh, like awkward. I just, it weirds me out knowing that they watch me, but like at the same time, like I'm really grateful that they watch me too. Like I do appreciate the love and support. It just freaks me out still. Like, I'm like, you, you watch me? 
But, um, so they were commenting on my, my Jeffree Star Blue Blood look, saying they really loved how I did that eye look, and I really loved how that turned out too. And I've had a few comments on there saying that they love my eye look and they love how I did it, but they're so scared to try out bright colors myself. My advice to you, just go for it. Just go for it. If you don't like it, you can always just take it off. It's super easy, but like, live in the moment, you know? You only live once, and just go for it. And like, I'm not the best at makeup by any means, and I tell that to like almost every single video, I'm not the best. But I do enjoy doing it, and if I mess up, y'all, I mess up. I don't really care. Makeup is uh, fun. I mean, it's not my job. I'd love to be afraid to be my job. God, what I wish for to be my job. But uh, my advice is just go and live and have fun and just do creative looks, and if you don't like it, you can always just wash it off, you know? Definitely has a lot of more pigment than I expected it to. <laughs> just saying. So I've noticed with myself, I'm gonna start bringing the color pretty much right up to my eyebrow because I don't really have that much space. I think I have like hooded eyes and stuff like that. I mean, I think that's what it's called. I don't know. But I don't really, I have like really big eyes, you know? So I don't have that much space. So I'm just gonna bring it up to my eyebrow for now. And if it doesn't look great, well, oh well, I like it. And my battery's dying. <laughs> oh man. Well, um, I'm gonna be 100% real with you guys. I um, changed the battery on my camera because I was halfway through it started dying. So I changed it and I pressed record and then I went to go stop recording so I could do the rest of my face and it's now recording. So this entire time I did not record me doing this eye look and I want to apologize for you, like apologize to you for that. Um, <laughs> oh, oh. This collection has been just... All right, so um, now that that did not record, I want to apologize to you guys. I will walk you through the steps of kind of what I did. Um, I don't, honest to God, I don't know where it kind of left off for you guys. I really don't. But I took the color Devious right here and I just blended it out into my upper eyelid region right next to my brow because I really have huge eyes like really big eyes and there's not really not much space between these two so I just kind of just went all the way up there and then I did a cut crease with concealer and I cut out the crease in my eyes and then I start off with the color Facilier right here and I put it on the outer corner of my eye and just kind of patted it on in then I took Diablo and I went into the center of my eye then I followed it with Mom Girls right here and I did that on the inner corner of my lid then I put the color spots as like these little white little dots and then I took the color Force of Thorns and I put that as my waterline right here and I kind of buffed it all out. Um, it was very easy, very, very easy too. Like it literally took me like five minutes to do this eye look and it does probably look insane right now. I'm just really, really pissed off at myself because I swore it recorded. I swore I pressed record and uh, I didn't. So I didn't get to record myself doing that for you guys and um, I <laughs> I'm not, you know what, like I'm, uh, 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 it is what it is at this point. Um, I can't obviously go back. I mean, I could go back and redo it, but I, I just not. Um, yeah, so that's how my eye looks right now. And I know it looks kind of funky, funky and whatever. And I talked about, um, things on here and I don't remember what I talked about now. And I thought I captured it all and I did it. So far, there's no fallout to this eyeshadow palette. Like, literally none. And that's one of the reasons why I do love ColourPop. Their collections are always so affordable. Their eyeshadows have such high pigment, and there's barely ever any fallout. And it, I may look crazy, but I, you know, I do love it. Like, so far, I really do like this the collection so far. Um, I wish I remember what else I talked to you guys about, but I just pretty much just walked you through the steps of how to do this eye look. And I'm really, really, really sorry that I was not able to film that for you guys. But I did say that when you pack on the color right here, I used um, this little flat brush from Jaclyn Hill. I took my little water bottle, I sprayed it so it was a wet brush, and I literally just packed on the color in the end. And then when I got to the between each color, I took it and I did like a little like shuffling motion between like each shade. I kind of just like buffered it out in between. And I'm sure that's not the proper way to do it. I'm sure there's a better way to do it, but this is the way that it works for me. So I just like literally buffer between each shad, like each shad, each shadow. So, um, oh, I cannot believe it did not film it, but <sighs> show goes on. So I know I look crazy right now to you guys. I probably laugh if you guys saw me like, <laughs> if you guys like legit just like 
<laughs> saw my video and I just like was doing the brown and the next thing you know I have this on you're probably like what um where'd that come from um yeah well now you know uh this is what happened so um you know what happened for this collection it would I've had so much trouble with this you know villain collection it would happen on this collection that I would not record myself doing the eye look so yeah you know that's funny I was looking at myself too the monitor and thinking everything's great and dandy wasn't <sighs> All right, so and now I'm gonna go do almost the rest of my face. I'm gonna come back and do the jelly mud shadows and the lip glosses and lipsticks, and I will be right back. Hopefully, I record it. Who knows? <laughs> All right, guys. So now that most of my face is done, the only thing I haven't done is a highlighter in the lips. Um, I figured I can go ahead and use the jelly mud shadow as like a highlighter. I mean, I know it's not really meant for that, but I mean it's why not go for that so the one I'm gonna go in for is the pretty wrecked one and this is such a gorgeous highlighter like I oh, highlighter it's such a gorgeous like like literally like look at this color it is like a beautiful color it's a great topper you can wear it alone with other colors you figured why not apply it as like a highlighter today so I'm just gonna take it and start dabbing it on my cheeks Ooh, yo look at that let me get my um Beauty bouncer. Oof. Yo, that is definitely some pigment to that. And I'm really just taking, I'm just dabbing it on the cheek and I'm blending it out with my beauty blender because without it, it's like super harsh. But I really like this as a highlighter. Wow. Now I'm like, like making sure it's recording because like the fact that it didn't record me doing an eye look, ugh. Now the only problem with using this as a, a jelly mud shadow as a highlighter is that it does have a little bit of glitter to it. So I am essentially rubbing, um, rubbing glitter on my face. Don't care. So the next step I'm going to do my lips. So I do have a choice between a metallic gloss, an actual lip gloss, another lip gloss. But what I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably never going to use this color. Like honestly, I'm probably not. I might end up giving that away. But I did swatch this. So I don't know if anyone out there is okay with getting a swatched lip gloss if you are let me know if you're not let me know like either way let me know um, but I am going to use the, the Dr. Facilier uh, cream lipstick and then I'm probably going to put a gloss on top of it just because I like having glossy lips but I'm just dropping everything it's nice let's see how this looks It's a little deeper than what I had thought it was gonna be. Um, I don't know about you guys, but are any of you guys ever deceived with like lip products online? Like when you see the swatches on the hand, like I'm always like, oh my god, that's gonna make a beautiful like mauvey like liquid lipstick. I have to have it. And then when I get it, I'm like, uh, this is either like a shade too dark or a shade too light than what I thought it was, and then I'm not liking it. Um, if anyone else out there suffers from that, please let me know because I buy based upon the swatches, not based upon the actual color. I have that on. I'm gonna take the uh, puppies and I'm going to uh, put it on top of the lip. It's still a little creamy. I mean, it's a creamy lip, so it's not gonna really dry down too much. And I'm just gonna put this on top because I feel like this is a really gorgeous like lip topper. You can wear it on its own. Oh yeah, look at that. You can wear it on its own or you could definitely wear it as a lip topper. I will probably wear this always as a lip topper because I like having like a nudie lip but not having too much of a nudie lip if that makes any sense. Like I like having some sort of like pinky, mauve -y type of look to it. All right guys, and this is the final look. Okay, so um, overall, I um, I love it. I do. I really do love the uh, ColourPop collection. Uh, I knew I was going to. I just got the phone with Kayla a little bit ago before I filmed, and I was like, oh, I got my stuff in today. I'm not really that excited. She's like, you know, give it a chance. And, you know, she's right. She's right. I really need to be open-minded to it. I know I was kind of like a little annoyed with this whole collection because of everything that happened to me with the shipping and all that type of receiving wrong products and everything. But... <laughs> I really like it. Oh my god, like I love the eye look. I know that it's like kind of like 
a little far out there. I don't know if you'd actually wear this as an everyday look. I mean, I, I know I wouldn't, but I do really love how it came out. Um, I like using the different colors. I thought it was really fun to play with, and I love the greens. Oh my god, are the greens freaking amazing. They are absolutely gorgeous, and the best part of this whole palette is that you can literally create any look. Like, seriously. You can literally create any look out of this collection. You have so many variety of colors and styles that you could do. I think it is a gorgeous eyeshadow palette. I'm really grateful that I did get this. It's one I really, really wanted, so I am grateful I have this. As for the Jelly Munch Shadow, I really, really love the Jelly Munch Shadow, so I know for a fact I'm definitely gonna love these too. Like, I used it as like a highlighter today, the Pretty Backed Highlighter. I think it is stunning. Like, I feel like the camera's not picking up as well as it should, but like, when you look over here, like, look on the camera, like, when I look at like myself in the mirror, ugh. Amazing. As for the lips, can't go wrong. Um, they're a little deeper in color than what I thought they were gonna be, but they're really great. Uh, they're not their liquid lip formula, which I can't stand color props like a lip. It's one thing I don't like about their collection. I just don't like a matte lip, just personally. But overall, um, yeah, I really do like this collection. I really do, and I'm really excited that I got it. Um, like I said, I um, had such troubles with it, but Overall, I think this look is freaking gorgeous, and I love it, and I'm definitely wearing this eyeshadow palette all the time, particularly for these green colors, because I love anything green. Like, I just do. I think they're so much fun to play around. So, um, like I said, I will be putting the Dr. Facilier Extra in my next giveaway that I do, as well as maybe the um, uh, Hades Liquid Lipstick, if you guys want to see this in there. I did swatch it on my hand. I don't know if that's a factor for you or not. I will save the box. If it is, please let me know. I'm probably also going to throw in the... Uh, jelly wrecked one in here as well just because like it's like a deep copper color that I'm never gonna wear honestly like this just isn't like my shade for me just doesn't tickle my fancy I know it looks like it's a lot of out but a lot of it's on this lid right here and all I do is swatch it on my fingers I did open the box just so you guys know it has a little bit of a tear so you would see that but if you guys want that in there as well please let me know otherwise it's just gonna sit in my collection and collect dust and not actually get any use so let me know uh, that is it for today's video guys please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I do post two videos twice a week. Make sure you guys do follow me on Instagram. You guys can find me at at AllieAnn89. And as always, guys, I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. I do apologize once again for the lack of filming. I thought it was filming and it was not. So, yeah. There's that. I promise in my next one, I will film the whole thing. I promise. But, um, yeah, guys, I just want to thank you guys for all your love and support. And I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye. Ooh, the new color pop Disney villain. <laughs> kind of looking for this eye look. Not gonna lie. I well, how classy it looks, right? It looks really Disney. Oh, I'm touching my mic. Or I actually, and then I also I really want to play around. But I definitely would do some swatches for like, at least these for <laughs> a Corella. Um, I have the Coella, Coella. I, I'm kind of making such a freaking mess. <sighs> uh, sorry. As I um, quickly just pose for my thumbnail. Don't mind me. <laughs> Don't mind me, I really forgot to do this, so. You know, no, I'm just posing. This is how I do it, literally, I, do, I hold it up and I just smile. Do it. Well, now you're watching me. It's weird. No, but I just go like. It's funny. <laughs> That's how you have to do it, though. Otherwise, the YouTube picks it out for you, and it's just fucking weird. You said I did my whole eye look, and it wasn't even fucking recording. Yeah, I know. Oh no, I, I sat down for a couple minutes and I was doing this, and I realized I looked up. I'm like, I'm not recording again. I got pissed. <laughs> <sighs> so frustrating, Kayla. You have no idea. Oh my god, you're like <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No. It's Kayla! <laughs> this is Kayla, everybody! Bloopers! Bloopers! <laughs> She's real! She's real! She's real! I know, I always talk about Kayla. I actually talked about you in this video, too. Whether or not... Yeah, whether or not... Yeah, you do exist. Yeah, say that again. Say it in front of the camera. I'm, I'm, I'll block you, but say, your, say I exist. I exist! She exists! Woo! <laughs>